Hey, what's up guys and welcome back. It's time for a new tutorial today and today we're going to do some cool text glitch animation. So let's see what we're going to do. And this is what we're going to do today and I got this idea from Andrew Kramer. He's the master of After Effects. But I want to have a little bit more easy and fast way of doing a glitch. So uh, let's jump into the tutorial. Okay guys, let's start with a new composition here. We can press OK. And then we're going to add a new solid. So we go up to new layer and make the solid. We can call this a glitch map. Like so. And then are we going to add an effect here? We're going to add fractal noise, the classic fractal noise. Rectal noise and we can drag this to this layer like so and now we're going to add this to or set this to block and we're going to uh, complexity and we can set this to two and we're going to crank up the contrast a uh, contrast to uh, let's see i think around there and then can we go into in transform and here are we going to unselect this unform Scaling. We're going to uh, set the width to, let's see, I think around there, 300. And we can set the height to um, 40. I think that's fine. That looks good. I think we're done here. So now can we just unselect this? Because we're only going to use this as an effect later on. And now we're going to add some text. Press here and we can type a glitch. Glitch. Like so. And we can align this. So we go to the align tool and align it to the center. Like so. And now are we going to um, add some other effects here? So we go to effects here and we're going to type in um, displacement. We're going to add a displacement map. So, so we go here at displacement map. And we are going to set the vertical to zero. And we are going here from the start. So we can do so. We go one second forward. And we can set a keyframe there. And we are going to set this to zero. And then can we go to start? And here are we going to crank this up. So, but we're also going to change this out to the glitch map. We're also going to set effect and mask like so, so we can get use of that glitch map we did before. Let's see here. I think around there is good. And now that we have this glitch effect that's turned off in one second there. Now we're going to add another effect here. We're going to add transform. So we type transform. Trans... We say huh? Transform. Transform. And we drag this down here. Now can we do so that we go in one second. We can just type here and press U so we can see the keyframe. Yes, it's in the same place. And here we're going to set a keyframe on the position like so. And we go to the start and we want to have this to slide in a little bit. So let's see here. We can drag this a little bit more. I think around there is good. Let's see. How does that look? Yeah, that looks fine. It's perfect. So and now can we add some other effects here? We're going to add a glow. So we go in here and type uh, glow. We're going to drag the glow down here to the text. So we see here we can drag this down to around 0.4. I think that's fine. We can crank this up a little bit more. I think around there. Let's see how does that look. I think that's fine. Yes, yeah, so it has a little bit of that glow. Then we're we going to do so. We can mark glow and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then can we do so that we um, 
can see here where should we go here we can go to start we can set this to glow intensity to zero like so and i think we should have it to start quite fast here so we set the glow intensity we set um keyframe there and then we go forward a couple of frames just a couple of frames and then can we crank this up a little bit let's see i think we need to be a little bit more let's see there then can we increase this width i think around there is fine then we go forward almost to the end then can we set this to zero here in glow intensity let's see how does that look not too bad here do we have that it glows up when it slides in like so i think that looks fine so now can we do so with that we press um, t for um, opacity and we can uh, go forward a couple of frames and set a keyframe there and we can go back and set this to zero so it's it's um you can't see it from the beginning then it comes in like so then can we mark the text layer and press u so in this way so can we see all the keyframes and can we do so that we go forward um about one and a half second and then we set the uh, new keyframes here so uh, new keyframes like so and then can we go forward about um, one second and then are we going to uh, set this horizontal to glitch again like so and then can we uh, set the position to go forward instead this time and we can do the same here we um, go to this here we can also set a keyframe for this uh, opacity so we set a new keyframe there and over here should be zero so we set this to zero like so so now that we have this um, going in and then going out we can also do so we can mark those um, keyframes and press f9 so we easy ease them let's see i think that's more soft in and then out perfect so now can we just duplicate this layer and add another text so it slides in over each other. So here do we have this sliding glitch effect. And there we have it guys, this text and glitch animation. Hope you like it and have use for it in your upcoming projects. Something would be fun is to show off your work. So send me a link to your work so can I maybe do a video and show off your work here for everybody. That would be really fun. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss my upcoming tutorials. But for now guys, over and out.